Hi everyone, and welcome to Soul Talk with Sonia. I'm Sonia, welcome. So today I'm just going to talk about one subject. I don't have three bullet points today. And this is what God gave me, so this is what we're going to talk about. So what we're going to talk about is the heart. So if you look at the word heart, right in the middle of the word heart is the word ear. Okay, it's deep, isn't it? So, Bible says, out of the heart flows the issues of life. So, God wants to know today from you what's in your heart. There are people that you have met who have mistreated you, friends, boyfriends, ex-husbands, Maybe even people in your own family, your mom, your dad, siblings, cousin. And God wants to know what is in your heart concerning the people that have hurt you. Are you healed? Or are you still bitter? Do you want revenge on that person? Is there any jealousy, any envy in your heart? So a few videos ago, I talked about your emotions. Then I did another video on his emotions. So I'm coming back to this because this is what God led me to talk about. I had no plan on talking about the heart. This was not on my agenda. But God wants to make sure that your heart is pure. Not just before you get married, but just because. Because your heart needs to be pure. So I want you to just get a sheet of paper. And this is for you. Write down people that you need to forgive, if you need to apologize to someone, write that person's name down, okay, or put it in your phone, and let God do the hard work on you. If, you know, you were, were training someone, this happens to African Americans a lot, you're training someone on your job, and they say, you know, they get promoted, okay? You're on a job 10, 12, 5, 3 years, and you keep getting overlooked. There may be some bitterness with that. Again, it could be a parent, a parent that abandoned you, that neglected you, abused you, that were a parent that was incarcerated, that didn't raise you, that adopted you. You had to get adopted because your parent left or was strung out on drugs. Have you really forgiven your parent or someone that violated you as a child, as a teenager, as a young adult? Have you forgiven them? So God wants to make sure that your heart is pure. If you go to him and ask him to remove the unforgiveness, the hurt, the pain, he will do that. He is a master healer. If you need to ask someone to forgive you, but you're having difficulty because of pride or because they did you wrong, and God says, I want you to ask them to forgive you, but God, what if they don't, you know, apologize to me? You still need to obey because Selective obedience, you deciding, God told you to do two things, you only decide to do one. That's selective obedience. It's still disobedience. And delayed obedience is still disobedience. So you may need to humble yourself and apologize to someone, even if they did you wrong too. God didn't say, <laughs> you know, forgiveness is conditional. Well, only forgive them if they forgive you. Mm -hmm. No, we don't do no conditional forgiveness. That's not even a thing. Don't make it a thing. Don't make something up. It doesn't exist. So is your heart pure? Is it bright? Did someone hurt you you still haven't forgiven? Do you have a jealous spirit where you are jealous on a regular basis of people? Are you bitter because you had a certain lifestyle and you don't have it anymore? And check this out. Do you have any anger, bitterness, resentment, fill in the blank against God? There are Christians that 
and ex-Christians that are mad at God. You need to get it right with God. If you, there have been times no, I've been angry at God. Like, God, where my husband, everybody else is married. God, why my money funny? There were times I wasn't speaking to God. But then guess what? I need him. So then, God, I'm mad at you, but I'm, we're going to talk about this right here. Then I'm going to go back to being mad. Been, been there. I was a, a younger Christian then, and I would do that to God. And he still worked with me. He still talked to me. He still answered me. He still put my foolishness. There were times in my life I've been mad at God, too. We think because what we want is delayed, that that's a denial, that God is going to do it. That's a trick of the enemy. So if you are angry at God, you know what? It's okay because he can handle it. He can handle you being angry at him. He knew you were going to be angry at him because he's initiate. He's all-knowing. He already knew that. But that's not stopping him from waking you up and not allowing the deaf angel to come and keeping you from this accident and still you getting the promotion. He's still going to bless you even though you're angry and have an attitude with him. God could have allowed someone in your life to transition. And you could be mad at God about that. How could God take so-and-so from me? But God is still here with you. And again, God can handle you being upset. But don't let the devil stop your relationship with God and win. Because that's what he wants to do. He wants to steal your relationship with God. Where you're not talking to him anymore. You have an attitude. You're doing things that you would normally do. You you have worldly behavior, so you're doing things that he delivered you from because you're mad at him. In other words, you're rebellion. Don't let the devil do that to you. Don't let him win. Don't let him separate you from God because that's what he's trying to do. Again, he has no new tricks. He's doing the same thing. Nothing new. And you find out when you stop talking to God, when you're not praying anymore, you still need him. It's like, where are you going to go? That he is not there. He's everywhere all at the same time. So, just be encouraged to take time with God and let him heal you. Any bitterness, any hate, any envy that you have towards people, these are not emotions that God wants you to have. He wants you to deal with your stuff. Deal with these strong emotions that are not pure, that are not lovely. Deal with them. And he will heal you. But write the vision, make it plain. Write the people who need to forgive, who need to forgive you. Pray that they receive it. And if they don't receive you, apologize they don't receive it, that's okay because you are obedient. And you did what God wanted you to do. And let him work on that person's heart. And you know what? When people hurt you, the Bible says pray for your enemies. Pray for them that spitefully use you and persecute you. When people do you wrong, you don't have to take vengeance because God is going to handle them. I have seen God handle at least two people that have done me wrong. And I don't wish the vengeance that God gave them on nobody. And God showed me, I am with you. I'm going to protect you. Nobody's going to hurt you. And I did not and I not deal with them. I'm going to deal with those that dealt with you. And you may not always see what God does, but when you see it, wow. God is going to deal with those that have dealt wrongly to you. He will. He will handle it. So I just encourage you to get your heart cleansed. Let God heal you from any hurt, any pain. You want to be pure. You're going to be like a, you know, those little white boards. Nothing is on the board. God have clean the slate. I've given people. I don't have any envy, no jealous, no malice in my heart. Even if you're dealing with anger issues, let God heal you from the anger, from the pain. You have to be able to let things go. That does not mean you're letting the person off the hook. That means you're freeing yourself. You're no longer wearing shackles because you didn't forgive them, because you're still walking around in hurt and pain. Do you know some people want to continue to hold on to the hurt? They don't want to be free. You know those people you met 
Anytime you get with them, they're talking about the same old stuff, past, and how he hurt. You know, you have a girlfriend that boyfriend did a wrong six months ago, a year ago. She's still talking about it. And you're like, girl, when are you going to be over this? When are you going to be healed from this? That's giving the person that hurt you power. You don't want to get in no power. You want to let go and let God deal with them. So sometimes it's just getting a different perspective. I want to be free of the hurt and the pain so I can move forward with my life. That's a different perspective than let me just hold on to this. To this hurt and the pain, I'm going to keep talking about it. When you're talking about it, it's not changing the thing. Because if it did, you wouldn't be hurt anymore. But there's power in being healed and not talking about it, right? God wants us whole mentally, emotionally, and physically as well. So I'll stop here. And I just want to encourage you to ask God to clean your heart from all unrighteousness. These emotions we talked about are not healthy. It's not healthy to stay in this stuff, right? And so you want to do the work. Your greatest asset is you. And you want to do the work on you and let God heal you. Healness sometimes needs supernatural help. You know, you try and try, you pray and cry. You may need to go on a fast so you can heal. And God will, will do that. He will come supernaturally. Move that hurt, the pain, the burden. You know, I think it's hard to forgive, really hard to forgive parents. Sometimes they just didn't know. Sometimes they've done the best that they can. And regardless, sometimes they might have known better. You still need to let it go. There's freedom in letting things go that releases you and let God deal with them. So thank you so much for tuning in to Soul Talk with Sonia. Remember, in the word heart is right in the middle of the word ear. And you want to have your ear close to God's heart. You want God to be pleased with what's in your heart. And so let him heal you. Let him do the work. See you next time. Be blessed.